All right, I recently done some modifications, made some modifications, some upgrades, whatever you want to call it. But uh, of course, I've done the mirror mod. I've moved the mirror closer to the camera so I could get my focus on my DSLR. I've added a, a 13 inch dovetail so I can adjust for the weight of the camera so it'd be a little more stable. I've uh, made a homemade dew shield out of some cardboard. Cheap little fix there and uh, let's see uh, I got a button off mask that I use on my uh, refractor telescope but it just so happens it's, it's about the right size to fit down into the telescope. I tried it out. It works fine. It works good. And uh, I had the, the uh, Canon 1000D. I recently acquired this one. It's a T6, not the T6i, the T6, which is a 1300D. You do not want the T6i, the 750D. You get vertical banding with that camera that you cannot get out. Even in processing, you cannot get out. So stay away from that camera if you want to do astrophotography. Uh, I used this last night, first night I ever tried it. It's got video and it. The ISO can go up to 6400, which I'm not going to use it that high. But for finding your image, 6400 is perfect. But I tried it last night, and I went to the uh, Sculptor Galaxy, and the first image I took was pretty amazing. So I, I think this is going to do really good. We'll see. The 1000D was 10 megapixel. This is 18 megapixels, so I can actually crop in a little better. Uh, this morning, I took it apart first thing and uh, removed the IR filters did the IR mod on it it was a little harder than the 1000D but it, it wasn't that bad I got it done this one you have to adjust the sensor with some springs so you have to measure make sure you get it back right but other than that it, it worked out perfect so this will be the first night trying it with the IR mod and, oh, I've also added the five pound weight to help stabilize the tripod some. I still got the little shim in here to stabilize the tube a little better. Every little thing I do to it seems to help. So I'm hoping tonight I can show you some really good images. I'm going to try the bubble nebula again. I haven't been able to do that yet. So maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to get the Sculptor Galaxy. I definitely want to see it because I, with one image, one image, I was impressed. So I'm going to set it up and take some images and uh, I'll show you how it turns out. All right, I just did my alignment and I just put my focusing mask in. And as you can see, it's pretty daggone close to being focused. I'm fixing to slew over to the bubble nebula and give it a try. We'll see. This camera is not focusing real good in the dark, but... There it goes. Anyway, you can see I got it focused. The focus mask is actually working, so... I'm going to slew over to the bubble nebula and see if I got it. Okay, well, last night did not go as planned again. About getting tired of staying up all night trying to get this to work, it's not working. It's not the telescope, it's just everything else. Uh, when I zoomed in on the bubble nebula, it uh, I got it in the frame perfect and it looked good. And I swear, the clouds rolled right in and stayed there. Right on top of it. So, change of plans. I 
slewed over to the uh, Swan Nebula and it looked good so I got I started I got it all set up and I started my imaging and clouds came in from the other way I, I don't get it and covered it up I just I got 29 images and I stacked them and I'll put the picture on here but 29 images at 20 seconds so that's not much data but uh, from, from what I've seen they came out pretty good for no data then I, got, I went to bed I got back up at 2 o'clock well when I went out the sculptor galaxy was in place so I went ahead and took some images of the sculptor galaxy I got over a hundred images on it but they're 20 second uh, shots so that's still not a whole lot of data but it was hazy that way like the clouds real thin clouds but I still got an image of it but it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be it's thunder now gonna rain I hurry up and get this video done uh, and after that I went to the uh, California Nebula and I'll be dang if this camera the new one I got, just got, the 1300D, started acting crazy. I could put it on manual, and it would be on AV, no matter what I did. I don't know if it got, the dew got so heavy, it got inside the camera and screwed it up, but ended up, I got them, but it was, it was a nightmare. But I'm hoping this camera will do all right. It's got a lot of noise in it, but I was using ISO 3200. So that may be why I had so much noise. I need to longer exposures, less ISO. That will help. And then uh, I, I'm out of focus on my right corner of my shot. This sensor is floating. And it's got springs to adjust the sensor. I measured everything before I took it apart. But I, I may just be a little off. Or I may have bumped this and got the collimation off. But... I normally check it before I start. I did not check it last night. Which mistake, but anyway. Uh, I'm hoping one day I get a good clear, crisp, clear night and get this done so I can show everybody this is going to be a good telescope. Well, now it's starting to rain and thunder, so I got to go. Get this in the dry. I'll put them pictures on there so you can see what I came up with.